Hey guys, welcome to Plugin for Car Show. We're here for the first time checking the new Honda Jazz. Now I'm saying new, it's new on the channel. I haven't covered it. Uh, so I wanted to use this opportunity to show it to you. Uh, this is the kind of sport trim uh, behind there. There's a uh, off-road trim, so I might show it at the end of the video, but we're gonna focus on this one. So it's a really nice uh, hatch, but it's kind of taller. Uh, more spacious inside and really excellent small family car now let's come a little bit closer and check it out now uh, this really looks up to date with the for example new civic there it's refresh now here are the daytime running lights going around the headlight you can see the lens there so nice design now uh, this is the metallic gray color not sure if you can actually see that this is a metallic color maybe here you can see that definitely that's a metallic gray uh, looks nice with this gray and piano black accents so the grill is kind of this mesh design in gray finish unpainted plastic you have the honda badge 3d with the blue details to emphasize this is the e-hybrid and then you have the in the sport trim piano black uh, front uh, and the bottom grill there's the air intake looks sporty and then uh, well actually this is side tunneling so uh, you can't see through but I can see that there is side tunneling and it's always has an exit right there so might not be visually always there you can see through but it's definitely there so the car looks really nice from the front and you can see the parking sensors are integrated right there now uh there's this big plant so i'm just gonna go around the car and kind of show you the profile as well so nice and tall now we have a smaller tires but again this gives you more comfort they're cheaper when you need to replace them so that's not bad but beautiful design diamond cut silver on black we have the beautiful 3d honda cap there and beautiful silver lug nuts now this looks like 16 inch just to confirm this this is 185 55r16 now you can see black side skirt and we have a big windshield so this is the front of the dash you can see here the light and rain sensor and lane assist camera and this is like a mono volumen this is like a minivan that's the right word this is like a minivan so you can see this big seat pillar windows and uh, over here you can see the piano black side contrasting mirrors part of the sport trim you can see the turn signal and there is a blind spot and blind spot in the mirror itself physically and that's quite nice now checking the handles they're nice and big you have here keyless entry and driver side has a physical cylinder now no piano black but black trim around the windows so some of you are gonna appreciate this this looks black but it's actually more like a gray tone to be precise now uh, some of you hate piano black because it gets scratched easily on the B pillars so this is good this is a good decision on Honda Spark, black tinted windows on the rear. We press here, uh, all the Japanese cars have this kind of really uh, rough metal looking design from the inside for the fuel cap. You open this, you can put it here so it doesn't scratch your clear coat, and that's it. Now, backing up here, so. If I go lower because I'm gonna be limited on the other side, it looks really amazing. I'm just trying to get my thumbnail here as well. Now, it's probably looking a little hatchback that's like a minivan, like a mini minivan. Uh, nice LED taillight signature. We have bulbs for the turn signals and reverse lights. They are cheaper to replace once they burn out, so that's also not a bad thing. Jazz and Honda Blue Badge, this is the e-hybrid electric vehicle so not to miss you have the black shark fin antenna on the top at the bottom you have a sporty looking diffuser in 
It looks like piano black, or is it metallic black? I can't tell if this is dust or that's dust, definitely. Uh, you can see here cat eyes, and you can see the exhaust pipe looks nice and stylish, I would say for, or maybe not stylish, but sporty. That's the word I was looking for. So the back end really looks nice. Uh, not to miss here, you have the backing camera have the opening button and there's a cold LED there. Parking sensors on the back are in the color of the vehicle. I'm gonna open it up. So let me just show you this one. You can see the little light there and rubber buttons. I'm gonna back up here so you can see the cargo space. So I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 .6 in feet. So it opens nice and tall this one's manual so you pull here to close now on the top look at this they added this kind of textile on the top it's plain and you have a shelf so you can take these out you can see the mechanism quite simple but okay and yeah there's a gap here so you can't put an umbrella perhaps but you can remove the top shelf now does it look too spacious because uh, the entry level is so low but it's very spacious once you knock down the seats now here you have a plastic protection now from the loading area there's four fingers of height so that's like times two in centimeters and since this one has a battery obviously there's a pocket here there's a first aid here you can put in there and checking the right side you have grocery hooks on both ends and well uh, this is closed and on the left side you have a little extra room again grocery hook and warm light now uh, because this is a battery here you cannot uh, open this part but you can see you have here tether points and it goes slightly upwards here seats knock down 60 40. now since this area is kind of blocked, I'm just going to show you this end and proceed to the interior. So huge thanks to local Honda because they gave me the key to turn on the car for us. So great opening and closing sound. And you can see here seals, double sealing. Now you can push down here. I like this on Japanese cars. It's quite simple and you don't have to use the key so this would lock from the inside if you have kids for safety and then this would unlock it now hard plastic but it's nice imitation of leather so it's okay in my book nice big handles they have this nice feeling when you open and look at this snow piano black as well there is that window there big pocket and a speaker also good design doesn't look too cheap considering this is hard plastic now you have here big carpets and they have this plastic tips here you can see so you push them in so it doesn't move and look at this space beneath so these seats can knock down but the bottom part goes down you're gonna see that in a moment so just focusing here we have beautiful smooth leather in gray we have a yellow contrast stitching and then inside we have this gray cloth dual tone and you have the isofix there now uh, it's interesting they didn't put anything to hold the buckle on the top it just slides down but you have big headrest and view at the top now if you pull this here you can see look at this the seat moves down and then this is completely flat look at this most of the car seats go slightly up but this is completely flat now i wish that the back one was flat as well you can see the back now when the gentleman opens it so very spacious and a lot of light coming inside the seat belt aligner is perfect here so it holds the seat belt in place and you can see these cushions are quite big and the seats look comfortable. Now let's jump inside. Now look at this, plenty of knee room, plenty of feet room. 
Now there is nice big now there are nice big pockets on the rear. This one's textile, but on the top it's leather. And look at this. You have a pocket here for a smartphone holder, maybe you can put a tablet holder or something similar. Now closing sound. Good closing sound. Now the front windows are open, so you don't have the actual closing sound, but it's good. There are these rubber parts that close and two USB-C's that are illuminated. So once you push this in, the rubber goes inside. There's almost no transmission tunnel. It's a very shallow, bit wide, but not an issue. And these, look at this, these are super comfy. Now, there's an extra seat buckle here and isofix points there and a lot of light coming inside. There are four handles slowly closing. No hooks here or on the B pillars. Maybe they can add that in the future. And yeah, it's quite nice. And I think the car turned on, it's charging the battery. So just to show you here, headspace for two meter tall person is actually quite decent. I cannot straighten up my head, but if you were an average person, you'd be fine. You might be touching the top, but there's a lot of room inside. Now the roof is slightly sloping down, so I cannot straighten up, but for an average person, once again, should be fine. You can see the cold LED lights on the top when the doors are open. Good opening and closing sound on the front. And so also hard, but same materials on the front as on the rear have all power windows you can lock and lock from the inside lock the rear windows for the kids and adjust these side mirrors electronically there the big pockets also speaker down there over here we have the tire pressure now we switched off the car because I filmed uh, on time the interior so we don't want people to you know uh, breathe in the exhaust fumes now uh, we have the sport paddles there you have the original jazz carpets and uh, checking the seats here so push this one up to slide the seat back and forward this one's for up and down as you can see that and then this one is for the tilt now once again beautiful looking and smooth it has a little texture but it's smooth and beautiful yellow contrast stitching with this kind of on the front gray alcantara so and you can see the background is yellow as well. So it looks amazing here as well. And then on the top, you have the textile. So it matches the rear, but it's a little bit more posh on the front. Not to miss here, we have the LED headlights height. You have the traction control off and the steering column is manually adjusted. View at the top and let's jump inside. Okay, so... Um, yeah, nice detail. There's a rubber here for the rest pedal. I'm gonna pop the bonnet later. Okay, closing sounds good. Um, I wanted to raise the windows, but I forgot. So I think it's a decent closing sound and should be good soundproof inside as well, but oh. sorry if I didn't show that, zooming out. So uh, you can see here the point of view. Now again, this uh, has such a big tall windshield and it feels like a uh, minivan because of that. But it's also nice because it has a lot of height uh, as well. And you know, this is quite nice when it comes to overview, especially when you have those big uh, double A pillars and an extra window there. Zooming back in. Now, checking the steering wheel, again, leather is nice and smooth. This is real leather, I think, not man-made. And uh, you can see the yellow contrast stitching. Again, this is part of the sport trim. You can see here a little bit piano black and non-piano black. So, you know, it's okay in my book. This is a three-spoke, looks okay. I prefer physical buttons. Now, you can see here the volume, you can see here uh, for the trip computer, speed uh, limiter, and 
cruise control, heated steering wheel, and you can see the sport paddles plus and minus. You can see the light switches, uh, wiper controls, and so on. There is here driving modes, and there is a power button that pulsates when the car is on. Now, we're gonna come back to this one. I'm just gonna cut in later the infotainment. And over here, you can see we have like cup holders. There's a rubber mat at the bottom, but I wish they were adjustable, but the edge here is rubberized as well. So it shouldn't be uh, making any rattle noises. Uh, you can see here, closed, open. So that's nice. And okay, so this, is hard plastic but it's covered by leather and then this is hard plastic leather imitation but it looks good i like when you have a leather imitation like this because then i don't mind if it's hard plastic but if it looks like really cheap uh, plastic and doesn't have leather imitation in my head it just then looks really cheap uh air vent blowing to towards this area there's another one there and uh, surprising, there's no speakers on the top, but it is what it is. Now, uh, there's a infotainment here, or the main screen. Um, I'm gonna turn it on later, but you can see here, home and return are physical buttons. Same as the skip, and here for the volume, you can press here to mute. Uh, same air vents, and you can see that. Now, this is padded here, slightly. Uh, this one's not so this is just covered by leather. This one has slightly padding underneath and When we add that you press here up and this opens actually it pushes up Slight force and it just pushes it up. It has a spring that lifts it. So there's a rubber mat here and a little space there underneath is the classical but this one doesn't have the spring to lower it slowly it just drops also quite spacious you can see right there now underneath the screen you have the physical button for the hazards and you have the ac controls again we're gonna turn these on a bit later you have the heated seats as well at the bottom you have passenger airbag information two usb a's one is for fast charging and one's for media and a 12 volt outlet so this one is 180 watts max, not 120. Now, uh, this is rubberized, so you can put your phone perhaps here. And you have the Honda's CVT. There is a little button. You push up right there. This is nice leather. Uh, I think this is probably plastic instead of metal, but it looks nice. You can see here park reverse, neutral drive, and V for brake for the hybrid. And here you can see electronic parking brake and brake hold is actually auto hold when you're in a stoplight. The car won't go forward until you press the accelerator. Now there are two blanks here, so mm, not sure what that should be. I'm gonna check in the other model if it has something. Now a uh, cup holder with a rubberized bottom you can take out. Same here, so storage area. And then uh, as you can see here, that is the way you open the armrest compartment. Let me see if I can share some light here. There is a carpet at the bottom and it's quite spacious, you can see there. And I forgot to show you, so this is also definitely nice and padded. I wish it would extend, it doesn't extend. And once again, these seats look amazing. So I love Alcantara, but I also love this combo with the rough textile and leather, it looks really posh. And the back seats are also quite good, despite not having Alcantara. Now, um, I think I've covered everything, so we're gonna cut in here the infotainment. So you can see the digital cockpit, we have the battery level and fuel, you have the digital cockpit. Now the engine has turned off, then switched to the EV mode. Now, going to the infotainment here, you can see the classical Honda new infotainment. So this is the home screen. You can see the colorful icons. There's a lot of menus inside the menus. So let's just show you here. You can see there's a lot of 
inside menus, here's the navigation. So, you know, uh, it's faster when you use the buttons for zooming in and out. There's 2D, 3D. And have the smartphone connection. Now this is in Deutsch because we're in Austria, but of course you can switch this to English. So, you can see here all the data. So again, a lot of menus and side menus. But looking good, and over here, back to the screen, you can see the speedometer on the top and the uh, battery plus the petrol. So that's that uh, basic, but has all the good stuff. And after we wrap the infotainment and the digital cockpit, just to check here, we have the baseless mirror, it looks premium. I don't see auto dimming, so uh, when you see this guy, you know, we have to use the manual uh, for the classical, not blind me feature. Uh, you can see the top lights are called LED and we have the emergency uh, button here. This one's to end that one if you press it by accident, although it has a cover. And we have those switches uh, there. Now, we have a document holder here on the driver's side visor. It's nice and big, considering this uh, huge windshield. Has a beauty light here, and let's see if it extends. I doubt it, but this whole area is not covered. Uh, it does not. But it is nice and big, so, you know, uh, it's good. Now, headspace. Plenty of headspace, so that's good for the uh, hatchback minivan, if you will. Or a mini minivan. And, yeah, everything looks great and posh. Now, um, I'd like to wrap it up and pop the bonnet. So, you pull towards yourself once. So it's nice and easy to get out of this car. It's not too tall, it's not uplifted too much, but it's not an issue getting out. Yeah. Now, I have to go around this plant, so bear with me. Um, we're gonna open the bonnet and then check the spec sheet. So just in the middle of the badge, slightly to the right, push to the left. And here is the little Honda engine. So the blue thing here is your washer fluid and the rest leave it to the mechanics. Now, let's let it drop, closes perfectly, and let's check the spec sheet. So we have the Honda Jazz, this is the e-hybrid electric vehicle, 1.5 IMMD Hybrid Advanced Sport. So this is the sport trim as mentioned, we have the 122 horsepower. ECVT, this is the benzene or petrol, and this is the standard equipment. And you can see here you have the 16 inch alloys that really looks good, if I may add, once again. You have the Honda Connect Garmin navigation and a lot of other stuff that I'm not gonna mention here. You have the magic seats, that's uh, the seats on the back that I've showed you. And you can see 31,000 euros. Now there's a small discount on the car show for 29, 40, 90. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is like the base price for the e-hybrid. Now, there are actually spec sheets here for all the models. So, there's Elegance, there's Advance, Advance Sport, Cross Star Advance. Uh, I think we have that one on the display here. So, I'm going to go to it. So, you can actually see the same engine. It's all hybrid, 122 horsepower. Yep. That's it. And here are the prices, sir, for this one. 31. Okay, so that was not the base price I thought of. Actually, wait, is it? Okay, it might be without tax, I guess, for the base model, but that's it. Uh, this is once again in Austria here. Now, let's go to the off road trim. So, I just want to show you this one. Now, it is kind of space limited, but uh, just 
you can see the difference is this one has roof racks and this one has if i lower down different uh bumper we have the arches in plastic protection and the doors have also as well plastic protection so if you're going off-roading uh, this protects your clear coat um, and you can see here the alloys also 16 inch you can see the piano black door handles now checking the front so this definitely looks like a proper off-road model now in this one we have this in plastic so there's no air tunneling at least not on the sides and here you can see the diffuser with this different accents i think the grill is the same and well this one is you can see the spec sheet here 28.99 so i can back up a little bit now that's the exterior let's just show you the interior so once again just a close-up on that therein the interior is the same the dash is almost the same this one's all black and check out this textile kind of leather that looks silver-ish it looks just like on the camera you have the textile dark finish oh this one has the top gray interior and instead of piano black it has white plastic look at that huh and there's an econ button there so that's the one that was blank on the other model and uh well the rear seats are actually identical uh as the ones on the sport trim we saw and the cargo area as well so I guess this is part of the, the the little hump here is part of the magic seats I wish it was completely flat actually just by looking this four fingers and this four fingers you, you thought they would like create a false floor perhaps to make it flush that would be nice but it's okay you know and this is some sort of uh, like a uh, sort of the light is flashing at the top this is some sort of like a pastel metallic uh, color there so uh, huge thanks to you guys for watching to the end and if you want to see more do subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get notified when I upload more videos stay safe bye